welcome back to my beauty channel. I know I haven't done a video, I think, since Caden was first born. Woo! He's almost four months now, by the way, so it, it's been a while, and I apologize for not videotaping. Um, I've been doing a lot of videos on my mommy channel, so if you guys like watch that, I do like Q and A's. I did my day in the life. I just, you know, I don't want to be posting those types of things like everywhere. So that's kind of more of like my life channel, and this one is strictly my beauty channel. So yeah. But if you haven't checked it out, check it out. The link is down below in the description box, and. Yeah, anyways, today I wanted to do a video on my hair. Sounds weird. I don't know if you guys have been watching me since the beginning. You would have heard my hair care, my like hair trauma story. If you guys haven't heard it, I'll link that video down in the description with a little bar as well. I filmed that like a like, couple, like a year or two ago, maybe. So the quality, I'm just warning you, it's not that good. But yeah, it like I'll just more explain. Um, basically, what happened was I had something happen at the hairdressers. My hair was so long, probably maybe as long as my hair is now, and something happened, and yeah, that's how much they had to cut off because I had a bad reaction to some dye. So for two years, I have been taking such good care of my hair, and literally, my hair has probably grown from this to that. I wanted to insert this clip real quick just to give you a real visual of my hair from December 2010 till today and how much it's actually grown. That is a lot of length if you think about it in two years. Two years. So I want to share with you guys my hair care routine of how I kept my hair healthy and grew it out like that long. That's pretty long. That's, that's past the boobies. This is no extensions. This is all natural. Yeah, yeah. But first off, one thing I want to say is, before I get into like my hair products and stuff, the main thing that I did do is every time I went in I wanted highlights, I asked them to only highlight the top of my head and not to touch the underneath of my hair because I was trying to grow it out to have the virgin hair so that, you know, virgin hair is obviously a lot healthier and nicer and then I've highlighted the top of my hair. But the one thing is with highlights, I have layers. So this gets trimmed a lot shorter and a lot more often than the underneath anyways and that's where most of my length is from. So that is the number one thing I did is I decided I wasn't going to dye my hair as often so if I wanted some color I just highlighted it on top and left the underneath my virgin ugly brown. Then next I have been using Better Shampoo. That is the number one thing. You need to use good quality shampoo and conditioner. I just find that other shampoo and conditioner just, just doesn't do it, doesn't do it. So the one thing that I have been loving is this. This is by Bedhead. This is their reconstruction damage level three, I think it's called Resurrection. Yeah, shampoo line. The pump on this one broke on my shampoo, so I kind of just put a cap on it and I pour it into my hand if you're wondering why this doesn't. But I love, 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 love these. I love these. They make my hair feel so moisturized, so good. I just absolutely love them and that is, I've been using this on my hair probably for about, for now, for about a year. But other times I was trying other stuff out, but this is what I love. Another thing with shampoo, conditioner, all that jazz, you want to mix it up. You don't want to keep it because then your hair gets used to it, doesn't work as well. So there are two other shampoos that I use. First I use, see that? There's water in the cap. These came fresh out of my shower. Okay. So one shampoo that I use, um, what I really recommend is the Shimmer Lights by, I don't even really know who it's by, but this is, this is more like a drugstore brand. It's John Frieda, the Shiblon Color Renew Color Correcting Shampoo. Now I use this maybe once a week, throw it in my hair, changes it up from my regular shampoo, so it allows, I don't know, just a little difference. And also, I have a little blonde, so it kind of takes the brassiness out. I don't think this is as good as the Shimmer Light shampoo, but if you don't want to, like, it's not bad. It's not bad. But I do like it. This is the one that I have in my shower right now. So, yeah, I do use this, like, once a week. 
another shampoo that I use. This is a clarifying shampoo. This is my Pure Clean by Garnier Fructis. This is actually, I've never used it. It's just wet from being in the shower. And this is my brand new bottle. But I use this as a clarifying shampoo. I like to use this once a week as well. It gets out all like the excess buildup of shampoo, conditioners, takes all that type of stuff out. You don't want, I don't think you want to use this on a daily basis. I think this would dry out your hair because it is supposed to take out all the residue and everything. But I do like this as a clarifying shampoo. I find this is really good. After I come out of the shower, I have to use a detangler. I have talked about my Healthy Sexy Hair Tri Soy Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. I think that is the best, hands down, the best detangler leave-in conditioner. Great. I have this. This is also by Garnier Fructis. I ran out of my other one. This is what I picked up just in a pinch because we don't sell this around where I live. I actually have to drive an hour away to get. Um, not this, but the um, try so I leave the shower after I drive an hour away so I can pick it up at Chatters. Chatters, sorry. I can't think of what it's called. So this is what I have. This is Garnier Fructis Triple Nutish Nutrition Detangling Nourish Repair and Leave-In. And it's kind of cool because it's got like, what is it? A detangling milk on top and a repairing serum on the bottom. So what you do before you use it, you can't see, it's kind of kind of separate. It's kind of separate, but not really. You'll shake it like this. And then I spray it all around my hair just like I would with the Troy Chai Soy Wheat Leave-In Conditioner by Healthy Sexy Hair. That is a hard name to say. And I just use this for when I run out of it. But I really like, I really think that you need a detangling um, conditioner leaving conditioner thing and you also need a wide tube comb which I didn't bring it out and that really helps when coming out of the shower it's gonna help with breakage it's gonna help with like it's gonna help keep your hair moisturized all that type of stuff because you're and like you need the wide tube comb so that you're not ripping and tearing your hair and that's why the leaving conditioner is really good too but I do recommend healthy sexy hair app uh, over this but this I think is a good like a little not a dupe but it's a good alternative Next, I have been like loving argon oil. This is my argon oil. It is by Exotic Nectar. Oh, it's Live Clean. It's from their Moroccan collection. I like to put this in when I come out of the shower. I will take my hair and I probably apply this and down. This, like, I have focus on this and down and I just put a little bit on top just to add like a little bit of shine, but you don't really want it by roots because you don't want to look greasy. But yeah, this helps my hair stay healthy, all that type of stuff. Now, this is why I was excited to do this video, all right? This is the main reason why I want to do it, because I want to talk about my holy grail product for long hair and keeping it healthy and helping it grow long, okay? I'm excited, I'm excited. Da, 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 da. Coconut oil, oh my god. Do you see this tub, how big this is? I paid 17 bucks for this at a Costco. $17. Okay? Do you know how much some leave-in repair conditioner treatments are? Yeah, they can get expensive. This was $17, and I can tell you that this is a shit ton more than you're going to get for those other things. Anyways, coconut oil. Holy grail. I... I'm sure you've heard about it from other beauty gurus. I apply this all over my hair. I leave it in either overnight or for about five hours. And I use it almost as like a hot oil treatment. It, like you can either, you can either just like, what it is, is it's i uh, I'll show this. It's like a solid, you see that? You can see my scoop out of it. So you can either just take it with your hand and warm it up with your hands and then put it all over your hair or you can put it in the mic for like, I do it in 10 second increments until it's like melted into an oil and then I focus really on my ends and then I set and then I also focus on my scalp yes you want to put on your scalp putting it on your scalp will nourish your hair and like what they say is your hair has a certain like growth like it has a certain lifetime and once it hits a certain length that's when it starts to fall out so what massaging this into your scalp essentially does is it extends your hair's length it nourishes your hair so it stays in your like it doesn't fall out as soon so your hair will actually grow longer using this product it will actually have a longer life and will allow your hair to grow longer than maybe it usually would that is my number one big thing so if you want long hair I recommend it plus after using it oh my god my hair just feels so soft 
soft and like nice and like pretty and like yeah I used it two days ago so yeah one thing I did want to mention though if you are going to buy a coconut you want an organ organic coconut oil um, like virgin no other products in it just pure coconut oil and cold pressed is preferred because cold pressed helps keep all that stuff in it that really helps your hair essentially cold press means that they like get the oil extract oil without using heat so it helps keep all that nutritional values also I have not been using heat products on my hair yes you may notice my hair is straight right now yes I did straighten it but I only straightened it because I really want to show you guys the full length my hair is naturally curly I'm really blessed I can usually just put some mousse in my hair and I'm good to go so if you notice most of my videos I wear my hair curly because it's easy and I don't have to put any heat on it so yeah that is how my hair has grown mm -hmm. from being super short to Past my boobs, yeah. Like, if you can see my back, I don't know if you can see, but it is almost to my back. I am pretty proud about this journey that I've gone through because you know what? I was devastated when my hair had its incident and now I'm just so happy with what I've been doing and how it has helped and the progress that I've had. So yeah, this is how I've been growing up my hair, taking care of my hair, and this is my dirty little secret of how I've really, really saved my hair. It is awesome. So yeah, yeah, those are my hair care products. I'm glad you tuned in to watch my video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!